the twenty-four Tharuns of the twenty-four elders, the revelation of Jesus of Nazareth, Christ, to John in a dream, fifty years after the crucifixion of Jesus of Nazareth, Christ. Revelation 4.4 4. Round the thrones were twenty-four thrones. Seated on the thrones were twenty-four elders. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the Fehu and the Dagaj. I am the alphabet. Fehu Dagaj, the original alphabet, clad in white garments with golden crowns upon their heads. It is said the runes never lie. I am in the runes. The runes are in me. The runes are a gift from the Vanir, the Anthusisani, Anasasi, Isin, Vanir, Hopi, to Odin, the High One of the Ajir, of Eja, of the Twelve Tribes of Ajir, Ra'el. They are a very powerful tool. We can use the written speech to create worlds. But a warning came with the runes as well. Be careful. So powerful are the runes that we can use the written speech to destroy ourselves. Odin was very wise. The god of war we remember, yes. But first and foremost, he was the god of poetry. War was a last resort. If you could not solve differences with words and songs and teachings and exchange of ideas, only then did one-on-one -on -one people war until the death. War was a last resort. And Odin knew this and was wise and gave the runes to females. For a long time, only females, Algees, the angels, Valkyries. Every human is born either Algees, female, or Manaj, male, or both, and you are born Chagalaj at the beginning. And each human has a predisposition either towards war, Weepman, or towards peace, weavemen. Most of the female, the algaes, the angels, were born with the predisposition of peace, weavemen. And that's where the word women comes from, to call them this. It's one of the manipulations of the language. Algaes, the letter Z, you're told, algaes is really the mark of females. They're angels. They're equal with men. They're as powerful as gods. And the Valkyries were those angels who were born with the predisposition of war. But after those women, predisposed to war, give birth to children, they understand the absolute need for peace. And these warrior women who had given birth to children, who understood the absolute need for peace, were the keepers of the runes for a long time. Because algaes, females, bleed naturally with the moon, menstruation, the runes must be stained with blood in order to work. Women could bleed every month and, and work them. As women got older and no longer bled, they were just left to do whatever they want and go play and party and have fun and the younger women who bled ran the villages and the men did what those women told them to do to use only the menstrual blood of females honors the river of life and creation peace is natural the true nature of humankind is love and light 
for Manaj to use the runes. He has to manipulate the hell out of the alphabet. They still require a blood sacrifice, and because males do not naturally bleed, they have to bleed themselves or bleed another. This is not natural. War is not natural. It is done through a manipulation of the language, beginning with the alphabet. ABC linear language is a slave tongue of darkness. It is not your alphabet. The runes are the true language of this planet. Every language on this planet can be written in runes. Every spoken language, every written language, the runes never lie. Not only did the runes contain great mystical magic, they also had phonetic sounds assigned each mark. And that too became very manipulated. One rune, one sound, always. And we'll do a separate on the next. The following will be a pronunciation guide. Thank you.